Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, we'll be doing the review of the Sony XM5, that is the Sony 1000 XM5 uh, headphones, the flagship from Sony. And I'm a user of the XM3s, I also had the XM4, so I'll give you my perspective, what do I feel? And um, I, this is sort of a mixed product, but in one area, Sony impressed me that much that I didn't believe because that was a very weak point with earlier XM series like the XM3, XM4s, etc. But they're really fixed on this one i'll talk about that and this is a typical review where i go over all the points so as you can see we go all over the stuff and i'll also give you a rating and if you have the older ones should you upgrade or not okay so let's get on with this one and again guys i won't show you the unboxing video and all these things this is the earphones that we get i'll get, uh, go about the physical overview and this is the case and yes the case is massive this time so that's what we get uh, but one thing i don't like is that let me just first show you the case itself this is the case and it's definitely a big case i don't know why they need to have such a big case for this one so here it is and it opens like this and this is actually magnetic and you have the extra 3.5 mm headphone jack cable and a usb uh, cable this is very tiny uh, to charge it uh, but one thing is missing is that airline travel adapter is actually missing i don't know why that is missing because people who use these headphones particularly use it for ANC and for long flights so that is actually missing anyways uh, let's talk about the first thing build quality and looks again here it's very good but again like typical other sony uh, headphones it's a plastic material and very soft uh, material art leather that they're using uh, so that way it's good uh, the padding you will notice that it's slightly lesser compared to the older XM this is the XM3 or the XM4 but and I thought it will be uncomfortable but this actually fits very very well in fact I would say in comfort these are slightly more comfortable compared to the XM3 or the XM4 in fact uh, I noticed that because I'm uh, actually wearing these reading glasses now and even with the reading glasses, these are actually very, very comfortable. Whereas the XM3s and the XM4s slightly used to push my reading glasses a little bit. But that's not the case with this one. So in terms of comfort, I feel that they have up the game. I can wear this for a lot longer periods of time compared to the XM3s and the XM4s. Uh, even uh, the cushion pads, I feel, are slightly more softer on uh, this one. So uh, the clamping force and everything, they have nailed it very well on this one uh, one con is that again they go only like this uh, if you, you're just wearing it like this it just goes like this it does not completely go like this and again it also does not fold like the xm3 or the xm4 so for traveling uh, that is something that i'm not but apart from that general build quality again no issues uh, with this uh, uh, these are almost like two and a half years old and nothing has happened i use it roughly in fact i've given it to my daughter now so these should also survive uh, but again yeah improvement i would say is in comfort i felt they were slightly more comfortable so in build quality uh, and everything it's good looks are subjective so i won't uh, now let's talk about the bluetooth range uh, here again i did not have uh, any issues and as expected it's actually connected to uh, this uh, smartphone and yes this can actually simultaneously connect to two different smartphones but i didn't use with that because i also uh, al always wanted to use it with the higher codec that is ldac so if you're using ldac it connects to just one device uh, if you have a modern android uh, smartphone you can use ldac for example if you go to the settings and here yeah this is the one that's connected xm5 it says and as you can see audio codec ldac so if you have an android uh, smartphone take advantage of ldac sadly with the iphones iphones don't support ldac so it's going to revert back to acc uh, so but if you don't care about ldac you can simultaneously connect to two different devices bluetooth range was never an issue on this one in fact if i place it in center of the flat i can roam around in the entire flat without any disconnection so the ute uh, was a uh, connection bluetooth connection even with ldac was actually pretty good in fact in the software i'll actually show you you have various settings for more uh, higher connection of bluetooth or something but i didn't have to toggle it so in terms of bluetooth connection i did not have an issue solid lag while watching videos uh, uh, here also again no issues in fact this was very surprising i tested this with two phones this is the motorola h30 ultra and even with the pixel 7 pro and pixel 7 pro with the pixel buds pro sometimes i noticed that lip sync issue 
but with the same pixel 7 pro uh, in with the elda connection uh, with this one i did not have that lip syncing issues while watching videos on both the pixel 7 pro and the motorola h30 uh, ultra so uh, for watching video and stuff again no issues there was no lag or anything that i noticed okay coming to apps buttons and customization uh, if we talk about the buttons on the left ear cuff we have all the buttons this is the power on off button and we have one more button this is for controlling the anc ambient noise or you can switch off the uh, uh, what do you say active noise cancellation and all this thing and you also have that physical 3.5 mm headphone jack. and you'll notice that this one actually has a lot of mics in fact double the amount of mics compared to the xm4 this in fact if i believe have eight microphones i'll talk about that later uh, so uh, these are the physical buttons and again these are also touch capacitive buttons that we have on both the sides so for adjusting the music and stuff you can just uh, up it it increases the music if you just swipe it moves to the next track this is the same that we have seen with the xm3s and the xm4s and they actually work very well so i don't have an issue with uh, that uh, now com uh, coming to the button and customization let's talk about the app and this is the same sony app uh, as you can see it's connected and this has a lot of options again i would say if you are a person who wants to customize a lot of stuff you love this app in fact i would say you will have to use this app once because the default sound signature that we have i'll talk about the sound signature later on is not that great so i had to tweak it a little bit but again in terms of the functionality uh, you have a lot of options ambient sound speak to chat all that stuff that we have seen even the xm4 we have that so it's a full featured app and you also have a proper equalizer in manual i have set it up like this uh, but you have a lot of options so you can play around with this one to get what you want and you have manual custom one custom two also and in this one also you can go here and extend the base also you want you have a proper equalizer so you can play around with this one so that way in uh, terms of sound signature and all these things we have we also have the 360 reality audio i didn't test it i'm not a big in uh, what do you say 360 but yeah when you move your head the sound moves with it if you like that you can uh, do that ah bluetooth connectivity quality as i tell you i've kept it in priority sound and i didn't have to go to the uh, stable connection mode uh, even with the LDAC connection uh dsc extreme is also there it's supposed to enhance the music a little bit uh, I didn't use it, but you can uh, do that. And again, in system, you have a lot of, as you can see, connect to two devices simultaneously. This is switched off by default. You can switch it on. But again, if you switch it on, it won't connect with LDAP. And you also have the voice assistant and all those things. As you can see over here, touch sensors, what you want. And you can also adjust this button for uh, what you want noise cancellation options noise cancellation on ambient on off so again uh, we have a lot of uh, what do you say customization in terms of what you want to do with the headphones so that way i would say this app is a full featured app you can do a lot of stuff in fact one of the best that i've seen amongst headphones it gives you a lot of, in fact uh, uh, you also do the firmware upgrades also directly from this app so this is a full featured app and one thing i liked is that for example uh, as i've told you in sound i have tweaked this sound signature so though i have tweaked the sound signature on this motorola h30 ultra and if i don't even have the, this app on a, another phone it will retain these sound settings on other smartphones so that is something that i like so i have the sound app just on this phone but whenever i listen even on the pixel 7 pro i still have this custom eq setting enabled so that way it's actually nice so uh, this is regarding the app very functional i would say and in fact i had already got two ot updates on this one uh, using the app you can actually do that so that way i would say in the app and customization this is like almost 10 on 10 uh, sony is doing a great job comfort again i love the comfort of this as i've told you though the xm3s and the xm4s were very very comfortable but this one i would say ups the notch a little bit more i don't know if it's just the band or how it is distributing the weight i can wear these for a lot more hours without feeling heaviness or fatigueness uh, so that way i love it and also the cushioning i feel is improved a little bit so uh, though it feels it's a little bit thin if you compare with the xm uh, this is the xm3s the cushioning is slightly thinner but for some reason this is a lot more comfortable i would say uh, and this also has that in ear detection though the sensor is not visible in the xm4s the sensor was actually visible but whenever if you're listening to music if you just put it down or move it it pauses the music and also so the sensor is there but it is actually hidden in xm4 it was actually visible so comfort excellent now coming to active noise cancellation 
and here again uh, it's doing actually a very good job uh, i would say slightly better than the xm 4 uh, sony claims that uh, the processing power on this one is twice compared to the xm 4 that has a new processor and yes the active noise cancellation is actually great but again if you're already using the xm 3s and the xm 4s uh, the noise cancellation on them was also very very great so don't uh, uh, if you get this one uh, it won't blow you away uh, but again yes I feel the noise cancellation slightly better on this one. Some of the higher frequencies also it muffles out. So that way it's nice. But one area I haven't uh, written here uh, is uh, ambient sound. Uh, noise cancellation is one thing where it blocks all the sound. There is also an ambient mode and I feel the ambient mode has improved drastically compared to the XM3 and even the XM4s. In the XM4s and sometimes I use the ambient mode if I'm outside just walking and stuff. Uh, 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 I want the ambient mode because I want to know what's happening around me or if in my house and my wife is there. Uh, so. Uh, in the XM4s, I never liked the ambient mode. It was, it used to sound very robotic, what others used to speak. On this one, it's a lot, lot, lot clearer. So that is something that they've really improved, I would say, the ambient mode. And of course, the noise cancellation is very good. So here, again, here in the noise cancellation department and all those things, I, I, I haven't tested the um, AirPods Max. I've heard that uh, it also has great uh, active noise cancellation, but here, I would say it gets a nine out of 10. Now coming to the microphone quality, which is the biggest pain point on the XM3s and even the XM4s. And always in my review, I said that if you take a lot of calls, you will be disappointed with this one. And with this XM5 also, I thought that would be the case, but I'm genuinely surprised. And I think so, They listen to the feedback. The XM4s had actually four mics, this one actually has eight microphones. So they have double the microphones and that definitely actually shows. The audio quality that you get on this one, the microphone is excellent. Now, in fact, if I have to take long calls, I'm picking this up and taking the calls on this one because they're so, so clear. And I never got issues from other parties saying that the calls were not clear or something. So that way I would say in terms of microphone from being one of the uh, below average, now, this has become one of the best in terms of taking calls. In fact, I also uh, used it for some video calls and stuff. And there also, it was very good. So for microphones, if you are a person who takes a lot of calls, you'll love it. Sony has really nailed it. <laughs> they doubled the microphones. This has actually eight different microphones now. So in that area, I would say, now this is getting a 10 on 10 from me. I'm also surprised with this one because, and I feel this is the biggest upgrade, I would say, from the XM3s and the XM4, the microphone quality. If, if you say, what is one thing that is very different? I would say the microphone quality. Uh, next thing is volume adjustment. Yes, you can do it, as I've told you, from the right side uh, one. These are touch sensitive and you can just swipe up uh, and you can swipe down. It gives a beep so you know what you're doing. And it is actually fairly accurate and you get used to it within a, a day or two. So that way it's good. So volume control and all those things are actually there on this one. In fact, uh, you also have the same here through. If uh, you're just listening to music and let's say just somebody comes, you can just tap this left uh, 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 one, a uh, ear cup, and you can sp uh, speak to that person. So that those options are actually uh, uh, there on uh, this one. Okay, uh, now moving to the battery life. Uh, battery life, I would say, is still very good. Uh, it's about 30 hours. Same as uh, the Sony XM4s, I recall, that was also 30 hours, and this is also 30 hours. Uh, this has also now quick charge, but I never had to use it. In fact, the battery life is excellent. Uh, the idle drain is almost negligible on this one. So if you're not using it, and if it's just lying around also, it does not drain the battery. So battery life is not an issue, just like the XM4s or anything like that. Now, let's move to the sound quality for music. Okay, here I would say out of the box, uh, these actually have new drivers, carbon um, fiber drivers or something, Sony say. And I would say uh, sound quality out of the box was slightly bit boomy for me. Um, and as I've told you, uh, that was quickly fixed using the app uh, and I had to equalize a little bit. Uh, I had to adjust the bass a little bit and uh, increase the higher tones. Uh, and again, that I also had to do it with the XM4s because I felt the higher tones were not that great. That is the same thing that I had to do on uh, this one. In fact, I would say 
bass they have reduced a little bit uh, but still i would say in terms of sound quality pure sound quality if i have to rate them uh, i was expecting a little bit more because the sound quality is not drastically different from the xm4s and uh, i have heard even the sennheiser momentums earlier about four five months ago one of my friend had it and i feel in tonal clarity the sennheisers are slightly better than this one and i was expecting that the xm5s will at least uh, be to the audio quality of the sennheisers but that's not the case the sennheisers i would say the momentums i have slightly the older ones i'm not talking about the new ones uh, had slightly better clarity but again with uh, the equalizer you can fix it about 95 percent of the time so you'll have to actually play with the equalizer uh, so that's what it is again the bass is definitely boosted but most of the people like it in fact it's slightly less boosted than the xm4s i feel because on the xm3s and xm4s it was exaggeratedly boosted here slightly less but still it is boosted uh, the highs uh, uh, again i had to increase the highs a little bit that shimmer was missing vocals i loved it uh, you can listen to this for hours and hours together and you'll have a good experience even i watched some movies and it was a good experience so again you'll have to play around with the eq as i've told you so it's good but again in terms of sound quality if you're expecting a huge improvement compared to the xm3s or the xm4s no i would say not uh, nothing like that. So in uh, terms of sound, I will rate it 9 on 10. Uh, in the clarity department, I felt Sony would have at least caught up with the Sennheisers last year's, but that's not the case. So now coming to the overall rating. Okay, comfort. Oh, beautiful, man. These are some of the best, most comfortable headphones uh, that I've worn. Uh, prior to this, my pick for the most comfortable headphones were the Bose QC35. And uh, now um, those have mine have almost broken. So this is the most comfortable that I have right now. I haven't uh, tested the Bose 700, so I don't know. But this is super, super comfortable, I would say. As I've told you, even if you're wearing glasses and something, because of this design, it doesn't pinch you, uh, I would say. And I could wear it for hours and hours together. So comfort, I'm giving it a 10 on 10. Features and ease of use, again, it's a typical Sony app and you have these touch gestures and all these things that work great. That's good. ANC quality, uh, I would give it 9.5 out of 10. Uh, excellent. And uh, apart from uh, ANC, let's also talk about the year through. That is, year through has also improved drastically, I would say. Microphone quality, wow. Uh, I, I don't know, Sony, how you did it. The earlier were 5 on 10, now you're becoming a 10 on 10. I just love it for taking calls. And if it's a longer call, uh, I just say, hold on, I'll leave you a call. I wear this and then uh, do the call. That good it is. Music uh, and sound signature, I would say here, I would give it 9 on 10. Uh, because again, in terms of clarity, uh, it's not... Uh, hasn't improved that much compared to the xm3s or the xm4s and you definitely have to tweak the uh, what do you say equalizer to get that uh, sparkle or that finesse in this sound so uh, again that is what it is overall i would say still i would give this a very high score of 9 out of 10 uh, things that i do not like coming to the negatives is the size this has become so big and you just can't fold it so when you're traveling for the example this is the xm4 i can just fold it this is how it is but i can just fold it in the bag and keep it but notice this one how how much of the size difference is this one this is big this is massive even even the case of this one this is humongous i don't know what what sony was thinking because many people use the sony xm uh, series of headphones in flights and stuff and there you have less space in your bag so i don't know why these can't fold so that can be a big issue and also another thing at least in this black color i don't know about the other color this is a fingerprint magnet this attract finger oils like crazy so you'll have to clean it uh, this one is also plastic key the xm3s and the xm4 but these don't get that much oily i don't know what kind of coating they did but this is something that attracts your uh, fingerprints like crazy and get that oily so again you have to constantly keep cleaning this at least in this black color i don't know about the other uh, color uh, biggest upgrade i would say compared to the xm3s and the xm4s is comfort and the microphone quality so if you already have the xm3s and the xm4s i don't feel this is as a big upgrade but again if you are a person who always uh, were annoyed with the microphone and you take a lot of calls in that case yes the xm5s are a upgrade but in terms of 
overall sound quality or something there's nothing like a what do you say major drastic difference that you would feel uh, in india this is available on amazon i'll leave the link generally the pricing is around 29000 something but i've seen that during amazon sales or something this can go down to almost about 26000 change what i'll do is i'll leave the link of amazon india in the description so that you can check it out anyways what do you guys feel about the sony xm 5s and if you have the xm 3s or the xm 4s and if you have tried the xm 5s what's your experience do let me know in the comment section below and guys if you're still not subscribed to the youtube channel hit that subscribe button this is ranchi and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys